Hi everyone, I'm Polly G and welcome to Fashion With Me. My channel focuses on makeup and fashion and how to always look your best and put together. I believe makeup should always be classy, not overdone, and should always complement and go well with your outfit. So today's video is going to be another video in my new series called Face of the Day. So if you'd like to see how I went from this to this, please keep on watching. So because I'm going to a work event tonight, I want my makeup to be more on the professional side or more of a corporate look. And so the outfit that I decided to wear for this evening is this silk blouse from Cabbie and this tea time jacket also from Cabbie. And the colors that I'm choosing to wear with this outfit are going to be mostly nudes because I think that's going to keep this look the most professional looking. So I have already cleansed my skin and put on all of my moisturizers. So the first thing that I will always do is use my primer. And for that, I use my Glow Activator Primer from Joa. And I'm going to put a little on my hand and just tap it all around and blend that all in down my neck, a little across my eyelids, just what's left on my hands and just blend that all in. And while my primer is drying, I always like to use that time to curl my eyelashes. Excuse my voice today, I have uh, allergies going on, <clears throat> so I have a little bit of frog in my throat. So I apologize if I'm a little raspy, but uh, anyways, I'm going to curl my eyelashes next. Next, moving on to my foundation, and I'm using the Tinted Serum from L'Oreal in the color Medium. And I'm going to apply that with my Beauty Blender, just putting uh, some of that product right on the a dampened Beauty Blender and tapping it around and then blending in. Next, moving on to my concealer, and I always use this uh, Age Rewind Eraser from Maybelline and also in the color Medium. And I'm going to put this on with this flat brush just across the applicator. And I start under my eyes, around my nose. I have a little bit of a cold sore going on down here, so I'm going to apply that also right there to hide that as best I can. And then I'm putting this also around my mouth and anywhere I have any marks that I want to cover up. I also use my concealer as my eyelid primer, so I'm going to put that also on my eyelids. I feel this works really well with my eyeshadow applications. Then using the other end of the Beauty Blender with a, a smaller side is I will just press all that in as well. Once I'm happy with that, I'm moving on to my powder and for that I'm using the Translucent Powder in Locket from Kat Von D. And I'm just putting a little bit in my cap, swirling it around. And I'm only putting it where I put the concealer. Next onto my bronzer, and I always use the bronzer from e.l.f. in the color Forever Sunkissed. I'm using this just to bring in some warmth to my skin. And I always start in the hollow of my cheekbone and deposit most of the product there and then start working it up around my cheek, around my hairline, and bringing it down my jawline and down my neck. Other side. and sweeping what's left on the brush across my nose. Next, I am doing my eyebrows, and for that I always use my pencil from e.l.f. in the color Deep Brown. And I use the spoolie end first to just brush through. These are steps that I do every day. If you watch my channel all the time, you may want to skip a lot of these first few steps and go right to the eyeshadow applications because these are all pretty much the same. But if you have not seen my channel before and you want to continue watching, please do. Okay, so I am just using the other end now to fill in my brows. I just have some gray hairs in there that I'm trying to cover up and just give my eyes a little bit more depth. And then going back to the other end with the spoolie on it and just brush through to disperse all that product evenly. Other side. Then moving on to my wild brow, also from e.l.f. in the color Deep Brown. I'm just going to put this lightly over just to keep everything in place. And this just helps deepen my brows up uh, just a little bit more. Don't do a lot for my brows. This is a pretty easy process and it works really well for me. 
So for about 90% of my looks, I always like to use a little bit of an eyeliner on my bottom lashes. And for that, I use this Neutrogena pencil in the color Spice Chocolate. And this is just to put a little bit of frame around the bottom of my lower lash line. It's not a lot. It's a step that you don't have to do, depending on your eye shape, but I like to do it for me. I think it just gives my eye a nice frame. Other side, just on that lower lash line. And that's it. Next, moving on to the eyeshadow. As I said earlier, I'm gonna to try to keep all these colors pretty nude or very neutral. I'm going to be using this color here as my transition shade. I'm going to use this as my highlighter shade, and I will be using this darker brown here as my, uh, just to fill in my corners a little bit. But so it's gonna be a very neutral look. So starting with this shade here, I'm just going to brush that all over my lid and bring it up towards my brow bone. Other side, all over my lid, bring it up towards my brow bone, like that. Next, I'm going to take this small brush. It's called a petite smudge brush, and I'm just going to use this dark brown. I'm just going to take that dark brown, and I'm just going to use that as an eyeliner around the outer corner of my eye. And I'm just going to take that brush and tap it right on the very top of the brush and get rid of, tap off any excess. And then I'm just going to trace right here against my lash line. And I'm not gonna go all the way across. And then I'm just going to trace it here and bring it down underneath. And then turning the brush this way, I'm just going to lightly pull up what's left and brush that on right there. That just gives a little, little, little bit of um, a little bit of definition, but it's, it's, it's very subtle, but it just does add a lot. And I don't want to have too much makeup on for this event, so I'm going to try to keep it subtle. Other side, starting right at the lash line, not even going all the way across, bringing it down underneath, just a little, again, not going all the way. And then turning the brush this way, I'm pulling up just what's left, and blending that in just to give a little, little bit of color there. Just want to make sure they're even. Next, moving on to this shade here, which is the highlighter shade. I'm putting that under my brow and in the inner corner and pulling it across and then right in the tear duct. Other side right under the brow bone and in the inner corner and pulling it across and in the tear duct. Then going back to that brush that had the transition shade on it, I'm just going to soften that line or any, just make it all soft. Next, I will tight line and for that I am using my black Neutrogena pencil and I use that for my upper lash line. And I just focus mainly on the outer half, but I do bring this all the way down, <coughs> excuse me, and I do bring this all the way down to the other side, but mainly focusing it on the outer half. Same on this side. <clears throat> now I think my eyes are watering, <laughs> so you'll have to bear with me. Uh, next, I am moving on to blush, and for that I am using this color from Milani in the color called Nude Kiss. Again, we're staying in the nude family, and I'm going to apply this with my finger and just lightly tap all around and just blend that all in until I'm happy with the amount I'm getting. This is a great cream blush. It just blends in so easily. This is a really pretty, pretty color. Very natural color. Just keep on blending. Like that. I don't think I'm going to use any highlighter today because again, this is a work event, so I don't really want to add a whole lot of shimmer or anything like that to this look, so I'm going to skip that step for, for this uh, look today. Next, moving on to my lipstick, I am going to use this lip liner in the color Nonstop Nude. Again, we're staying in the nude family, so I'm going to use that as my lip liner. 
And then using this lipstick from Milani called Ferris Nude to top that. And to deepen my lips up just a little bit, I'm also going to use this color from Flower Beauty called Spice Petal. And I'm just going to put that in the bottom lip. Just to deepen that up just a little bit. Last but not least is my mascara and I am using my Full and Soft from Maybelline in the color Black. My favorite day mascara. And I just put this on the upper lashes only. And then just in the lower outer corner on the bottom, but that is it for the bottom lashes. Other side. Then I'm going to use my Neutrogena Volumizing Mascara, just on, also in black, just on the outer corner of the upper lashes, just to give them a little bit more definition. Okay, so here is the final look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's totally free and it really helps my channel grow. I hope to see you in my next face of the day video. And in the meantime, always remember, keep it classy, keep it stylish and always be your best self. Bye.